Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal. Hope everyone is having a great day. I know I am. It is nice and sunny where I live today. I think it's about 50 degrees outside. I just went on a nice little walk um, to get out of the the old house here because it's uh, been a little crazy um, with being on quarantine. You know, everyone uh, staying home and everything like that because of the crony. But... Uh, so yeah, I definitely needed to get some fresh air and some sun because uh, yeah, being cooped up for so long can uh, really, really start wearing on you. So, but we are back with another episode today. Um, we're probably not going to make it too long of an episode because we've been doing quite long ones recently, and um, oh, we already know this bad boy. We can get rid of that. But uh, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, don't want to have too many continuously long episodes. Um, I know that not everyone wants to watch through an hour long episode, so I figure mixing in um, shorter episodes here or there uh, could really benefit. So, I um, haven't done anything since we ended the last episode. As you can see, I am cleaning up my inventory a little bit here, um, and you'll have to uh, pardon any background noise you may hear because um, I do have my my window open right now because it's so nice outside so but I don't know if my mic will pick any of that up so anywho uh, yeah we just need to do a little bit of cleaning up because as you can tell our inventory is still quite overloaded with items that we picked up from our um, adventuring in the last episode I hope everyone enjoyed that um, doing more electro blobs wizardry stuff um, I know I have really been uh, enjoying it, figuring things out for it and finding new spells. Even though we don't use our wand all the time, um, it's still a fun um, fun thing to be able to do. Let's stick those in there. We'll hold on to those. I guess we'll just stick some of this stuff in here for the time being. Don't need that. We can stick these in here like so. We'll stick that in there with the leather. How is the rest of our backpack? Just kind of junk stuff. Not Well, not junk, just items I won't necessarily put into our ME system. Let's, uh, let's take this. I'm curious. Actually, I'm going to hold on to those. And um, we're going to stick that away as well. And we got some food stuff we need to stick upstairs. So no biggie, but let's see what this is. A heart container. Okay, it just gave us a heart. <laughs> um, I don't know if we regen now to that or how it works specifically, but um, we'll see. No worries about that. I'm just going to utilize this experience. Yes, we do have a chicken down here because I um, am an idiot and I threw an egg down here and it uh, made a chicken. I'm going to throw another one. Okay, we can get rid of this. Okay, so head upstairs here. And we need to stick this food away. So let's cook up some of this stuff. We got a ton of stuff in here that's already been cooking up. We got some raw salmon in there. Grab that bread. Stick this bread over here. So far, this sandwich has been uh, really the best one for me to make. Um, I know there's more options out there for sandwiches. But um, with the amount of eggs and um, zombie zombie meat that we have... Uh, making zombie jerky and fried egg sandwiches are the best. It gives a decent amount of hunger back as well as a lot of saturation, which is exactly what we want. Decent amount of saturation um, and uh, filling up our, hung or, uh, yeah, our hunger there. So we'll just charge this bad boy back up. Um, charge up our nice little flux bore there. And any of these boys need to be filled back up. Ooh, our boots do. Yeah, look at that. Our boots definitely need to be filled up. So yeah, what are we doing today, you might be asking yourself as I ramble on um, for infinity years here. Uh, we're going to take a peek at the inventory pets. I had man uh, mentioned it in the last episode that I wanted to uh, take a more in-depth peek at what they have to offer because it was recommended by a viewer. We, uh, you know, scope it out because there's some cool things. We already have been utilizing Bob, our chicken, to give us better speed. So um, I think it's a little bit, uh, it's worthwhile to uh, take a peek through all of the other ones. But with all that being said, 
we can get into it now. So, inventory pets. Do I know anything about it? Not really. Other than um, there's a whole slew of different pets that you can get. You have to have them on your main hotbar from my understanding. See, if we have him on our hotbar, we run around like that. But if we take him into our secondary inventory, we slow down. Um, I don't know. I don't think we can stick him in here. He is not like a... Um, we gotta charge that up too. He's not a uh, bobble, bobble um, item, so we cannot unfortunately stick him in there. And I don't think there's a second inventory that we can um, put them in or anything like that. From my understanding, I am going to admit now I am no expert, obviously. So uh, take everything that I am saying with a little bit of grain of salt because there could be more information out there than what I am aware of. But anywho, so we have our chicken, which gives us a good speed boost. Um, we do, there's a pet cow that will remove negative potion effects. Now you do also have to keep in mind all of these guys have different um, food that they like to eat. And as you've seen with our chicken over the countless episodes, he likes seeds, so I always have to make sure I have seeds in my direct inventory here. Which is easy enough to do, it only hurts me when I move them into my, my backpack or something like that when I'm trying to quickly organize and I forget about it and I just have to pull them back out. But Seeds are pretty easy to get, so you just want to keep that in mind because some of the food that these uh, pets want are um, a little bit more resource intensive, I guess I could say. Um, the next one is a mushroom pet, which I actually think we have this one downstairs. Um, it'll have a bone meal effect when you right click and it fills empty bowls with mushroom stew, which is pretty cool. Uh, the ocelot gives night vision and it scares away creepers and um, it'll catch fish when you're near water. So again, pretty, pretty interesting. Um, the pet pig will give bonus hunger saturation, which is pretty cool. You can eat poison food and it will give you pork chops. Like how the chicken gives us eggs, this guy will give us pork chops. Um, and this guy does want carrots though. We don't really have a big abundance of carrots. We could start up a carrot farm, um, but uh, yeah. So then the sheep pet will give you a slow fall uh, effect. So if you're falling, it'll let you down gently. It'll give you wool, but they want wheat. And we got plenty of wheat, but we really don't need that. We have a jetpack. The squid pet is pretty good, too. Water breathing, underwater vision, and swim boost, which are all pretty cool. Um, and you can sink down, um, but they do want raw fish. So you obviously have to keep raw fish on your inventory. The blaze pet, which is pretty cool. Now, all of these are peaceful. Some of them are... Uh, mobs it says but I don't think they're any different I don't think they'll harm you or anything but uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on that it'd be interesting to see if they get down in um, hunger if it drains if then they um, start damaging you so this one gives you strength boost fire damage on attack but in this one that wants nether quartz the strength boost would be pretty cool to continuously have one um, the creeper pet uh, explodes. If you right if you right click, it'll cause an explosion, and it's immune to explosions. It makes you immune to explosions. That one's gunpowder. Enderman is teleportation, um, and it'll teleport you when your health is low, which is pretty cool. They want obsidian nuggets though. The gas pet you can shoot fireballs from, which is pretty cool. They do want blaze powder. The iron golem pet will give you uh, damage absorption when you right click. Um, it'll give you poppies. And then it also will give you, or give items toggle. Don't necessarily know what that exactly means, but they want iron ingots. So not even nuggets, not the little ones, because on a nugget, it would be really nice because you get nine for each ingot you have, obviously. Basic Minecraft um, crafting there. But uh, for this, they want full iron ingots, which is kind of a lot. Um, this magma cube one, which is what I was interested in. So it gives you fire resistance. It allows you to walk on lava and then you can sink into the lava if you need to by sneaking. Um, I think that one's actually pretty cool. It does require nether quartz, but um, we're going to bookmark it. We can see the recipes aren't too shabby. Um, most of them do just need diamonds though. So that's just something to keep in mind. The um, spider pet. It looks like you can't make this the spider pet. So it looks like some of these you can make and some of you you can't make. So unfortunately, the spider pet does not look like there's a recipe for it. If I hit, yeah, there's 
currently no recipe and oh I didn't know you can enchant these guys too I don't know why you would really want to you know like why would you want to put I mean repellent maybe auto smell I mean again like these don't really make sense to have on here. Maybe the soul bound ones um, would make sense, but other than that, it doesn't really make sense. But anywho, um, we also have the snow golem, which will give you not back and it'll give you snowballs, which is pretty cool. Um, then you have a mini anvil or anvil pet slowly auto repairs. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, damage item. Uh, oh, it slowly auto repairs damage items in your inventory. And it wants iron nuggets. That's actually pretty cool. But most of our tools have mending on them now. Or recharge through um, RF. So it doesn't really make sense to have that. Um, there is the bed pet. Which you can sleep with. Which is pretty cool. But if you already have a sleeping bed. Or a sleeping sack. You don't really need it. Um, we have the brewing stand pet. Again uh, it gives you random potions. Uh, the chest pet. Which was something that I was a little bit interested in. Um. It'll, uh, you can open it, you right click it, and it, uh, it'll store stuff for you, which is cool. It'll be a whole other inventory for us. There's also a crafting table pet. We already have a built-in crafting table, though, in our <clears throat> inventory. So if we go in here, we hit C, we got a nice little crafting table here anyway. So we don't really need that one, um, but if you didn't have this capability or the pocket um, crafting table, you could utilize that. Moving right along, we have the double chest pet. I'm going to click on that one because I want to check it out. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we can't use the spider one, but I wanted the magma one, yeah. Um, which is just a double chest, basically. Um, then there's the enchanting table pets. It'll allow you to do enchants with lapis nuggets. Pretty cool. The ender chest pet. Um, it just acts as an ender chest for you. Uh, the furnace pet will smelt the first smeltable item in the hot bar, which is kind of interesting. I think we do have this one downstairs in our chest stored away. Jukebox pet, um, music, lead pet, um, you can leash and tame mobs, and then kind of etc, etc. There's another portal pet, which will teleport you to the nether and back, which is pretty cool. Um, so if you didn't have another portal already set up, this actually could be a viable option. Now, I don't know if it's to the same exact spot every single time. Uh, that would be kind of interesting to, to test and see. But they do uh, want obsidian nuggets for that one. There's the saddle pet. Um, the apple pet. The cheetah pet, which gives you haste, which is pretty cool. The house pet, it'll teleport you home or you can set a home point. This is pretty cool. Um, if we are, didn't already have the home functionality, but you do have to keep in mind the home functionality only works every five minutes. So if you find yourself being stuck where... Um, you can't wait those five minutes. This could be a very viable option to uh, get you going to be able to teleport to and from your house pretty easily. Um, at any point you want to. They just want ender nuggets. And I'm guessing that with these ones where it's a one use, um, like a, it's not a continual effect. It's You use it when you want to use it. I'm guessing that it only uses an ender nugget when you utilize it. So something else to keep in mind. There's Pac-Man pet. Um, it auto eats when you're hungry. That's actually pretty interesting. Pixie pet doubles your XP, but they do want emerald nuggets. Uh, silverfish immune to suffocation, and you can walk through a wall. Okay, we might. I might want to just test that one out. I'm a little curious on that. Um, the torch pet. This is one that I definitely wanted to have. So basically, you can. Uh, place torches or set a fire with this guy and all they want is coal so basically this just saves you on having to have sticks now as we learned in our hour-long exploration video the other day you can use wooden sticks to make torches or you can use cobblestone to make stone torches so there are viable options when you're you know deep down in a cave or in a dungeon and you run out of wooden sticks you can always use cobblestone um, to make um, stone rods to make stone torches this guy would be pretty cool because all you need is coal so we'll definitely give that guy a look there's the wolf pet you can summon a wolf uh, banana you throw bananas a biome pet it uh, helps you find um, a biome that you might be looking for which is actually pretty cool 
the flying saddle pet it allows you to ride mobs and fly mobs um, if you have a jetpack it kind of doesn't <clears throat> make too much of a viable sense but early game that probably actually would have been really good to have uh, grave pet stores inventory after death um, that would be good if we didn't already have the grave mod installed so um, the loot pet bonus drops from mobs and mining so it basically just gives you a higher chance of um, of drops from when you're mining ores or when you're killing monsters very much like looting and um, the other one that I can't think of right now what is that called looting and um, we have it on our on our thing fortune looting and fortune basically that is like looting and fortune I don't know what to do the degree is for that but um, there's a meta pet but you um, can't actually make this one. You have to buy it. It just lets you transform, I guess. Um, there's also this one, Mickerson Resistance, Meaning of Life. I really don't know what that means. We couldn't even make it if we wanted to right now because it takes another star. There's a Pingit Pet. It helps you find ore, um, which is kind of cool. This is the one that I was recommended to do. So the Purplicious Cow Pet. It enables health regen and it fills empty buckets with lava, um, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I necessarily need the lava portion, but the health regen would be perfect. It does take diamond nuggets though. So don't know. I mean, it's it, it's a very intensive, I mean, it, it's an intensive resource. I mean, if you're not stocked up on diamonds, you know, you could run through those pretty quickly. And uh, realistically, I mean, we eat food and we generate health anyway. So I don't know if I really want to do that one. Um, there's the Quantum Crystal Monster Pet. It summons minions. Quiver is for arrows, infinite arrows, actually. So if you are um, into bows and stuff, this is a good one to do. There's a Sponge Pet, which uh, allows you to place water, absorb water, and walk on water or sink into water, which is pretty cool. Very much like the um, Magma Cube one. There's a dubstep pet, it's a sound blast, a heart pet, it's group regeneration, so if you are in a group of people, like if you're playing on a server, this could be really good to have. Um, the moon bet pet, which reverses gravity of mobs and items, it does not look like you can actually craft that though. Um, shield pet is for group resistance. Uh, true invisibility for one minute. There is a, wow, okay, a 14... A 1440 minute cooldown though on this and you unfortunately can't craft that either there's a juggernaut pet which gives you invulnerability for one minute and it weakens enemies there's a two minute cooldown for that uh, Siamese pet brings you random gifts scares away zombies um, and it's a spawn slash stow companion so it is a companion um, that does take cooked chicken there's a dirt pet you can turn uh, cobble to dirt which is pretty cool there's a cobblestone pet turn dirt to cobble uh, Christmas pet, yeah, and then it's kind of getting into some random ones. April Fool's pets, um, spawns, spawns foolishness, uh, black hole pets, uh, slows time, attracts items, which is pretty cool. The cloud pet, which is flight again, um, you cannot make that. The puffer, shit, puffer fish pet is poison on attack, and there's a venom blast. You can make that one, does take another star. Slime pet, um, can't make, unfortunately, the sun pet. Prevents near, nearby mob spawns, which is actually pretty cool. And it sends mobs into a fiery orbit if you right-click. Um, you do need another star for that one as well. Then there's a wither pet. Um, does wither, and then there's all the nuggets. And then just kind of some random items down here that I'm not really familiar on. Um, some of these you can't make, like blue screen of death, windows 3.1, windows 8. The start button. Yeah, I don't really know what those ones do and you can't really unfortunately um you can't make them so well that's pretty much all of them i know it's very long-winded uh, i mean we're already 20 minutes in and all i've done is gone through some of these boys so let's get into crafting um so i think i first want to start with this torch pet i think it'd be pretty cool to have um we'll get him down here and i, I th we do have to have him on our inventory in order to be able to do this um and we did get in the advancement sick burn so I don't know, I do not have any cobble on my inventory, or any coal I should say. So we'll grab some, a little bit of coal here, and um, I guess we could 
Well, we'll hold on to our torches for the time being. Um, the other thing that I did want to make was a feed bag because the feed bag will allow you to hold on to all the different foods for the pets. So we should have everything for this. We're gonna stick it in here and I'm actually gonna find out if we can stick food in here and it still apply to these guys. So if I stick our seeds in there, do we still move fast? Yes, we still move fast. Now I don't know if when he runs out, if he'll replenish it, we'll have to wait and see. So I'll leave that in there. And I'll also stick coal in here because the coal one might be a little bit easier to test. Okay, so yeah, it definitely does. Oh, so it places a certain amount of torches before he wants a piece of coal. Okay, so this actually could be even better than what I thought it was. So he placed one. Let's do a little test here. So he placed one, two. Uh-oh. Okay, he did not place two. I don't know why, why couldn't I place it right there? They do, he does take out of here though. You can already tell it went down two. So let's see how many we can place. So one, two, three, four. So you get four torches for one piece of coal. That actually is, well, no, it's not really that great of a deal now that I think about it. As you take a stick and a piece of coal, you get four torches. So. I mean, I guess it's the same exact conversion. You're not really gaining anything from it, um, unfortunately. But, I mean, it's pretty cool to have. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier, and it's easier to have our food in here and not have to um, not have to have it on our inventory constantly or in here clogging up space, especially if you have multiple pets. So we can knock off our torch pet here. The silverfish pet is pretty interesting. I kind of want to see how this works. Um, and what did it say its favorite food was? Cobblestone. That's very easy to have. So let's get this guy going. Unfortunately, we have to have him on our inventory as well. Fish out of water. Now, did it say... You have to right-click. Okay. Don't know if you have to right-click with this or not. I'm guessing you would have to. Um, but he wants cobblestone. And I don't have any, but I think it'll give us a charge regardless. So let's try this. I'm trying. Am I, am I doing it wrong? Oh, he's out of uh, he's out of food. Hang on. Let's grab a little bit of cobble and just stick it in our main inventory here. And he took that. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then it just takes one cobblestone every single time. We do have a weakness for some reason, though. But that is pretty cool. I don't know how often I'd really use it, though. And I'm guessing that, I mean, we would definitely have to be holding him in order to do it. So I'll stick him in here. I mean, it'd be pretty cool, but I mean, I don't know what situation we would be in where we would really need that. You know, it'd be better if it was um, a little bit more active, I guess. All right, so we got the silver fish one done. Um, let's take a peek at the magma cube one, because I feel like this one might be a little more relevant um or the double chest actually let's take a peek at the double chest what does he want wood that's easy enough to do um let's hop in here get that out of there we should have enough stuff for that and bada bing bada boom perfect oh pet inventory pet researcher so we've met we found 10 pets um and i think this is under here yeah inventory pets Wow, okay, There's a. this kind of goes through the whole progression of different ones that you can find. Acquire all the fan-suggested pets. Um, acquire all the OAE pets. All the legendary ones. YouTuber ones. Yeah, look at all of these boys.
Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay. I wonder how often, like, he needs food, you know? Be kind of curious to know, but we do need planks for it. I don't know if he'll eat, like... I'm a little bit curious if he will have, um... If he'll have any kind of plank. So if we took a bunch of these red wood planks... And we made a bunch of... Made a whole slew of this, uh, these redwood um, planks from this redwood wood. If he would be sufficed with that, we should be able to just dump that out and it pick back right back up in our inventory. Oh, did he pick that up? Oh no no no! It looked like he opened for a second there, so I was curious if he picked it up. We stick. Oh okay, this does not. Don't know. Oh, you can use these to make any meta pet? Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, oh, it just says wood. It doesn't say planks. This guy wanted wooded planks. Okay. But maybe I have a messed her up here. Hang on a second. Let's stick those in there. And we'll just grab a whole stack of this red wood. And we'll stick it in there. And we shouldn't have to have the feed bag on our main inventory. We could stick it down there. Actually, I don't know if we need to have this guy on our main inventory. I think we can stick him over there for the time being and only pull him onto our main inventory when we need him. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, then the last one is the magma cube pet. And uh, I think this one would be pretty cool to try out. The only thing with this guy is it does take nether quartz. He wants nether quartz. Let's grab him. And we'll stick him on our inventory here. Got the hot stuff achievement. From our achievements in here. We did not get anything in here. I don't believe there's any quest lines for the inventory pets. Um, at least I don't believe there are. Um, we could take a peek around in here I guess to just double check on that. That's the player shop, farming and agriculture, mayor position available, exploration, dimensions, which we've been to the twilight forest, spell casting, I don't think it would really fall under there, um, legendary artifacts, uh, nah, I don't, I, then it's definitely not science, um, not that, not that, or challenges, yeah, I don't think it's any of this, XP levels, 5,000 XP levels. And you get a watering can, creative watering can, and a creative modifier. Holy smokes. <laughs> it gave us a 9. Oh, okay, it contributes to it. So I guess we realistically should be contributing to that as we go. Um, we're 1% completed. Oh, that's funny. Kill 100 wither. What is this? Any compressed for dirt. So you need triple compressed. Holy smokes, that's a lot of dirt. That is a lot of dirt. Because what? That's And you need 80 of these. So 80 times 6... Oh, that's so many. Holy smokes. Um, same thing with cobblestone. Okay. 100 ender dragons, magical snow globe. Craft a regular magic snow globe and take it on a world tour to special biomes. Activated. Okay, I would like to know how you make it though. A Jaffa factory? Should take about 93 episodes or so. Oh, it's from Honeydew. Okay. Master wand. Master all forms of magic. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, there's a bunch of different wands we could get. Which I think we've seen. I think we have a few of them. Animals bred. Only 16. Oh, wow. Okay, what do we get from this? Cheesecake and a creative modifier. Item enchantments. Or items enhanced. We've only done 22. Fish caught. A thousand fish caught? Holy smokes. Okay. <laughs> a thousand rubber ducks. Mobs killed. Half a million? We're not even close to that. Oh, okay. We could do an airship. Oh, 
I mean, you get a ton of chance cubes from that. Okay, okay, I'm getting distracted here. What do we have in the shop? I haven't been in the shop in a while. Alright, whatever. Um, what do I want to do? I wanted to go to the nether. I wanted to try this out. Oh, but we need nether quartz. Well, we can get some in the nether. We don't need to worry about that right now. What? How did you get here? Woo, double hit. I'm loving this sword. This sword is so much nicer than what we were dealing with before. Alright, and into the nether we go. This is actually the first time we've been in the nether since we uh, got our jetpack, I believe. We really haven't been here that uh, that much. So it'll be nice that we have our jetpack. Holy smokes, look at all of these leaves that grew. Um, I was a little curious if we can see also where the cobblestone is coming in or not. It doesn't look like it yet, so uh, we haven't... We haven't um, used up enough lava to where it's starting to um, see it cobblestone on top. It's actually kind of interesting. But what did we need? We wanted some um, nether quartz so that we could um, try out this magma cube pet. So let's find some nether quartz here. I feel like it is harder to find nether quartz in the nether oh, than it is in the uh, in other dimensions. There we go. And we'll just get to a nice little safe distance here. What is that? Gold? Yeah, this is a great place to find resources, as I've mentioned before. Um, there's also these little guys that come around that you can find that will trade for some stuff, but they're not like anything um, too crazy. So, oh, we got some more nether quartz right here. Okay. So we got 38. That should be a decent amount, and that guy's actually already eating it. We'll stick this into our food bag. And I guess we just give it a try. Okay, nope. Oh, there we go. We have to right click. This is actually pretty nice. And we do have fire resistance, which is super nice. Okay, this is actually a really, really nice one to have. Um, especially in another like the one we have here. Um, oh, my Lanta. What was that? Electro block? Okay, can these guys suck? I hate those guys so much. We're going this way. Yeah, get out of there. Okay. Did we pick that up or did we just lose? I think we might have lost it all. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think we just lost all that. So we want to be careful when we're mining on the lava. That's for sure. Um, what is this? Congealed slime blocks. So these are slimes, but in the nether. Um, nether lapis. Got some more quartz down here. We'll grab that while we're here. Oh, a dimensional shard? What? We can get it, though. Exotic miner. What are these used for? An infused diamond, a machine infuser, infused ender pearl. What the heck? Shield pro projector. Oh, you can make a shield projector. Activity probe. Wow. Okay, these are these are some um, higher tier items, I would imagine. A dimensional shard gear. What is that used? Okay, it's, it doesn't help me at all. What are these used for? A projector, a scanner, advanced power cell, a locator. Interesting. Okay. So I guess these are good to have. I, I've never seen those before. So um, what's sulfurite? Oh, for sulfur. Obviously. This is pretty cool. And it's really nice that we can walk on lava. It's almost like you step up though. So like we're walking normally and then... Oh, I guess it kind of didn't do it that time. It almost seemed like we stepped up when we uh, tried to get onto the lava. What is this? An Osmurium ore. I know I butchered that. Let's take a peek in one of these, because we uh, haven't gone into one of these before, so... Oh, we already wi we're withered. Holy smokes, and we're already going to... 
We're in a bad spot, boys. We need to we need to move quick. Whoa, I did not see that coming. Oh, I guess we're fine. It didn't really affect us. I thought it affected us way worse. Way worser than it actually did. Um, but I guess we would want something that prevents us from getting um, wither, like, um, you know, attacked by a wither effect. But yeah, this is really cool that we can just kind of, you know, eat our way through the, uh, the nether and walking on all this lava. I'm a little bit curious, where's our slime sling, if we can then just kind of slime sling through the nether as well. Oh, whoa, is that... Glowstone? Really? Okay, I've never seen that before. Just things of glowstone. Like, um, liquid things of glowstone. I have not seen that before. It's actually pretty interesting. Oh, we got another fortress here, too. This is a good find over here. We're gonna have a ton of blaze, though. Luckily, we are, um, immune to fire. And we got the advancement. Terrible fortress. Can you please get out of my way, sir? I'm sure this is pretty dark. It looks pretty dark on my end. I'm so sorry in advance about that. Ooh, we got some chests, though. Ooh, boys, we're in business. We're going to try to use our... Um, our little chest here. So can we, like... What do we got here? Ooh, some dark boots. Apiarist shoes on that. Oh, that one has flippers too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna grab all of this because it looks pretty good. And we're gonna try out our pet here. Okay, unfortunately we cannot shift click into him. That's a little bit of a bummer. So everything that you place into him, you have to manually place into him. Okay, that's a little bit of a downside to this. I can already tell. Alright, he's full up. I guess we can keep moving, see if we find some more chests in here. Ooh, okay. We got an advanced machine frame. I'll definitely take that. We already have a lava charm. I'm not going to worry about that. I do not know what that is. We do have some of these um, fortune hands already. A brown rune, a white rune. Some more dark boots. What was this? A void crystal. Interesting. Okay. We can open this guy back up. The Not being able to shift click is kind of bothering me. Um, I kind of wish we, we were able to. I don't know if there's a setting that we could do. We could switch for that. But um, unfortunately, we're going to have to click everything in for the time being. Um, are we missing anything else over here? No, it looks like we got that and that. There's not one here. Okay, let's keep snooping around. We do have lava resistance or fire resistance, which is amazing. Um, I guess we'll go this way. Any chests? No, no bueno. Keep going down here. Oh, we got a creeper. You got any chests up here? No, just a blaze spawner. Took himself out. Dealt with that. Okay. I think we already went this way, didn't we? What's this way? Dead end, okay. Looks like that way is a dead end, unfortunately, as well. Maybe. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like another dead end. So this might be a decently small fortress. Yeah, because we've already been up here. Yeah, there's nothing up here for us. This guy's getting a little bit on, on my nerves. There we go. Uh, um, yeah, we already went that way, so I guess we'll try this way. That goes to nothing. We haven't looked over here. Got a wither skeleton. Took him out. No, no, uh, not a hard time there. We have another blaze spawner there. Um, it looks like that kind of leads back to where we've been before. Keep getting some torches down here. So we, uh, can actually see. Keep moving. Is this another dead end? Yeah, it kind of looks like a dead end. I think that's about it, unfortunately. 
which is a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping for a little bit more from this, but it's uh, looking like that's pretty much all of it that, that we have. And uh, we come into here and look. Yeah, there's no chests here. What about over here? I don't think we came down this way. Um, looks like we got some stairs maybe up here. Yeah, and fortunately that's nothing either. Okay, so I think that is pretty much everything. What is that? Is that some more of that? Oh no, that's a diamond. Okay. I would like, I would very much like that. Ah. Alright, I'll take that. Can you not do that? Get out of here. Alright, so unfortunately that was the bulk of the um of the nether fortress there i was kind of hoping for more what was that what is this an eyeball interesting okay Ooh, we have one of these cool biomes over here with like thorns and stuff we've seen one of these before down here oh look there's more parts of a nether fortress down here i wonder if that's the same one that is just disconnected maybe so let's check this out Okay, we got some glowstone we can get out of our way here. More torches down. Ah, it looks like another dead end, right? Or maybe not. We could still be in the clear here. Now, that looks like another dead end, unfortunately. Oh, we are full. We are. I just said we're full. We're definitely not full. We're definitely starving to death right now. get some food in me and look at me i'm saying that it's going to be a, a shorter episode and we're already at 40 minutes in <gasps> uh, of course this is what i would do well let's just do a little bit more looking around here and see if we uh we could find anything else just like that uh, anything in here do you have some stairs anything up here nope okay down we go Now, I don't need any of that. Um, check any uh, anything in here? Nope. This goes back into this hallway. Need to eat a little bit of food here. This looks like a dead end as well. I will grab that though. Alright. Head back this way. And I will grab those nether diamonds. So I guess the nether isn't that bad. Um, you can easily find some good diamonds down here as well. Um, I think we already went this way. Yep, we went that way. Let's check this way. Wow, why is this so dark? Basalt. Ooh. I'm sorry, it's super dark in here now. And just a little way up here. Okay, so this nether fortress is actually way bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Um, and I'm kind of getting a little bit lost in here. Let me grab my flux capacitor here. And uh, we're going to get rid of something here. Be able to charge some stuff up. Cool beans. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is just um, look through this... Um, another fortress a little bit more and if I find anything good I'll bring you guys back but otherwise we're gonna end the episode pretty soon here all right guys so we weren't able to find anything else down in the nether fortress over there um, so we're just heading back home and we're actually going to end the episode there so I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you did feel free to leave a like down below or better yet um, leave me a comment I'd love to hear your thoughts um, uh, I don't think I have mentioned this but I have started streaming over on twitch um, I do not have a regular schedule. It's just kind of whenever. But um, over on Twi Twitch, it is ja underscore underscore boy. Um, so ja boy with two underscores in the middle. Um, it's the same exact icon that I use here on YouTube. Um, and I do have it called out in the, uh, should have it called out in the description down below. Um, so give me a follow over on, over on Twitch as well. I typically do different games than Minecraft. Uh, right now we're playing through Batman Arkham Asylum, which is pretty fun. Um, so yeah, if you want to follow along with this channel on here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and bell notification. 
You guys know what that'll do for you. But other than that, thank you for sticking through. Till the end, I will catch you all in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.